So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth tutorial I guess for WebSockets and in this tutorial let's just implement this dummy WebSocket and see what's going on. So I go to my sublime text and this file right here and I say inside the script I say that uh, Sock is my new WebSocket, and uh, this is WebSocket Secure Echo dot WebSocket dot org, right? And uh, let me just make that. So now we have these methods on close sock dot on error on message and sock dot on open right so we have these four methods and they return me not right now because they are not defined on the socket so we need to define them so let's just do so just go to your text editor and say on open is function event right and uh, what I want to do is I want to say just console log event right reload and see what we have got so we have got an event with some sort of stuff which might not be a lot useful but uh, this would be useful once we are doing something like on message right console log event alert socket connected successfully right and uh, after that what I can do is I can say set timeout function and then I can say that sock dot send and I can say hey there right so just send it after a second and just move it right here so that it just sends it after a second it's connected right looks good reload we got our sockets connected successfully it okay message event right and if I network stab if I look you can see that we get hey there as the sending sort of stuff and hey there as a response which is obviously because it's not my socket I haven't programmed what response it would send but the guy who has just coded this echo dot web socket has created a response or whatever the user sent would be sent back right so that's pretty cool and uh, yeah so if you look in the console you can see that somewhere right here um, we should have something like uh, if I do event.data and if I reload this again you see that we get hey there but uh, where was it in the property logging I didn't see that actually so yeah right there there it is so this data field would return you whatever the <coughs> server has sent you right so and it has some other sort of stuff as well which you might not need all the time so this is how you actually perform a very simple socket request and exchange some messages and do some handful of stuff now this isn't very exciting using somebody else's socket so what we're gonna do to make this thing interesting is that we're gonna write our server socket code as well and the client socket as well so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one in which we might probably be implementing a server socket so see you then